Okay. Uh, we've got uh, Flatball to a checkout today. Let's do it. Okay, flat ball. Uh, by the way, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you would hit the bell, that'd be awesome. That way you don't miss any of the videos that come out today. I know a lot of people have been asking me about good contact with their irons. They hit a fat, they want uh, fixes. This ball, flat ball, claims Here's the claim. Uh, I will read it to you, okay? Straight off the box. Uh, when you become proficient at hitting the flat ball, you will never hit a real golf ball fat or thin again. That's a bold statement. Number two, the flat ball is great for full swing practice indoors or outdoors, okay? Soft, flexible material allows you to practice without worrying about damage to property, etc. Uh, we'll see about that. Here's how this puppy works. You, uh, a regular golf ball is an inch and five eighths in diameter, so impact your club uh, can be anywhere. Okay, we understand that. Flat ball is a quarter inch high. Okay. Um, and so your club head must be that close to the ground in order to hit it. This helps eliminate thin contact. Obviously, if you hit it, well, we'll get into that later. Uh, if your club head hits the ground before the flat ball, the club will usually right over it. Makes sense? All right, let's tear open this puppy and see what we got. Whoa, be careful. All right. Oh, by the way, I get nothing for this. I just bought it on my own, thought it looked cool, saw it on the great Amazon. And, uh, okay, so you got this. It's out, flat ball. Directions are right there. Yeah, they're like a soft, rubbery material. Flat ball right there. Pretty cool. The theory. The theory here is, okay, if I hit it thin, I would just miss the ball. Whew. Hit it fat, I hit behind the ball, it would skip over and miss the ball as well. In order to make perfect contact, you have to just get it uh, so perfect right in there. Boink. And then you could hit that and uh, do whatever you want with it. It's like a little mint. Okay. The question is, if I become proficient at hitting the flat ball, will I never hit it fat or thin again? That's what it says. When you become proficient at hitting, you will never hit a real golf ball fat or thin again. Never. All right. We got six flat balls. How, what's proficient? I guess consistent? Okay. Let's go check it out. We'll hit a six iron to see how we do on these things. You got that a little heavy. Okay. Interesting. Well, I don't think I hit anything thin. coming at you. It says they're good indoor or outdoor. Yes, they don't really fly. 
they do go kind of far. Like they shoot off pretty low. You'll lose these things if you're, if you're just hitting them. Okay, that thing took off and spun like you, you would roll a quarter down the road. I'm gonna get that before I lose it. I do not like hitting them away from the net. Try some fairways, see if, uh, see if that works. Okay, um, I think I'm proficient at, at hitting these guys. I haven't missed one, topped one once. So now I'm gonna hit balls and see if, uh, if my ball striking contact is any better than it was previously. But I am proficient at, the, at hitting these. So I should never hit one thinner fat again my whole life. Let's find out. Okay, same club, seven iron. My contact should be the best ever. And I should never hit one fat or thin according to the box. I will admit that was a pretty solid contacted ball. It did make a uh, much nicer sound than usual. Okay, let's see. Same sound. I, actually, I'm, I was a little, I was kind of, kind of impressed. This is a, a good crisp ball first contact. That too. Those are really crisp and solid. Okay, I, I gotta, I gotta admit, I thought those things were a little dumb. Uh, these guys, it's goofy. They cannot fly. Uh, they just kind of shoot off. And they're annoying because you're going to lose them. And they're already bent. You will lose these unless you're careful. But I, I will admit, I'm getting very, very good ball contact, surprisingly. Yeah, I mean, I'm hitting all ball. Okay, that one was thin, a little thin. So their claim is already wrong. I thinned it a little, but I didn't hit it fat. And I am proficient at hitting those dang things. Well, that was solid. All right, let's go to my hybrid, make sure we're good. Solid. I don't typically hit these heavy, so it's probably not that. Oh, that was nice. It's really your irons that's going to be your main problem though, right? I would imagine wedges, nine irons, eight irons. Get another, there's an eight iron. Okay, that one was a touch. It was a great shot, but it wasn't as solid as the others prior to it. It was less crisp, it was more on the heavier. It's not, it wasn't fat, but it was heavier. Oh, that was solid. Okay. You can do one more flat ball. Do a flat ball. That was a good flat ball shot. Now, regular ball. Okay, that was nice. Okay, so I went out and I bought these things. I saw these flat balls and I was like, huh? What a goofy product. And so they weren't that expensive. I will leave a link in the description below for these little poker chips. I guess you can use anything you want. You could hit a leaf off the ground if you wanted to, probably achieve the same result. But okay, got the flat ball, hit them. Pros and cons. Uh, pros are, dude, they actually kind of work. They actually uh, help me hit the ball much more solid. I mean, I was making ball first, divot later, 
solid contact better than normal, okay? Honestly. Uh, so that's the pros. They actually work. Cons are, one, they're white, so they get dirty. I don't like that. Two, they don't fly. I want to know, if you're going to make this, I want to know, did I hit it good or did I hit it bad? But they just kind of shoot out. They're not, there's no kind of indication of whether you hit a good shot or a horrible shot. A horrible shot would be, it stays on the mat. It doesn't go anywhere, I guess. But I want to know, man, did I hit a little heavy? Like, uh, what happened? There's no, there's none of that happening. But for what they are, they're not bad. I'll leave the link. Like I said, hope you like the video. A little flat ball review. Not bad. Helps you hit it. Not fat. Flat. Good. Flat ball. Well, it's got a catchy name. I don't know. Hope you like it. Love you guys. Something to do while you're at home. Or staying away from people. I don't know. Whatever you're doing with yourself. Flat ball. Give it a shot. I get nothing out of it. See you guys in the next video. Let's see if this works. Get the four iron. We're gonna tee the flat ball up, okay? Like that. So we got a teed up flat ball. Let's see how, see what happens here. And let's see, do I, I would never tee my four iron up that high. Let's just not tee it up and see if I make good contact then after the fact. Helps keep me level, let's see. A little flat ball drill. Ooh, that was nice. That was good contact, flat ball. All right.